Hi, my name is Rabbi Pini Dunner. Welcome to my weekly Erev Shabbat Dvar Torah. This week, we're going to read Parshat Vayera. At the beginning of Parshas Vayera, Avram Avinu is described as Vahu Yoishev Pesach HaOihel. And he was sitting at the entrance to the tent. Now, the word Yoishev is in the present tense. So if you translate it more accurately, it would be he is sitting at the entrance of the tent, not he was sitting. Now, you may be thinking to yourself, that's a bit pedantic. And in Hebrew, this way of saying it works and it's fine. But wait a minute, don't jump to conclusions because actually there's a really powerful message here. The Sfas Emes has a beautiful explanation. Avram Avinu was in the highest spiritual place he'd ever been in his entire life. He'd done his bris milah, and God was so happy with him that he came to visit him. Can you even imagine what that means? It was a revelation of God's presence. It was the pinnacle of Avraham's life. It was his crowning achievement. And yet, Avraham Avinu remained Yoshev in the present tense, sitting in the doorway at all times, every minute of every day. And even when he was sitting with God, he still felt as if he was at the threshold, not quite there yet. He had not arrived at where he wanted to be. My friends, the clear message is that this is how we should all feel, because otherwise we will stop growing. I was always fascinated by the story of the Chofetz Chaim, who kept a little travel bag near the door of his house, ready for when Moshiach arrives, that he could immediately go to Eretz Yisrael and not have to waste a moment of time packing. It's a beautiful story on so many levels, but what strikes me is this. Even though he was the great Chofetz Chaim, he knew he had not quite arrived yet. He wasn't yet at the ultimate destination. He was Yoshev, sitting in the present tense, in the doorway. Carol Dweck is a Stanford psychologist. According to her, the secret behind successful people is very simple. It all comes down to mindset. To prove her theory, she conducted a series of social experiments which demonstrated empirically that while the average person sees their abilities in terms of fixed assets, successful people have what she calls a growth mindset. When people who have a growth mindset reach the peak of the mountain that they were climbing, rather than resting on their laurels, they immediately are ready to start climbing the next mountain. Growth mindset people are always sitting at the entrance to Abraham's tent, ready to launch the next expedition, because they know, they totally know, that however far they have got, they're still not there yet. It's a powerful idea, especially because we don't see Abraham Avinu in this light, generally. He just seems like a kindly man who wants to be kind and nice to everyone around him. But although that was true in his relationship with other people, when it came to his relationship with himself, he was tough and unyielding. There is a term for this in the management training world. Graciously disruptive. Graciously disruptive people are never satisfied with the status quo. And they don't mind being disruptive even if they're gentle about it, to make things better. Hopefully, all of us can take on a growth mindset and be a bit more graciously disruptive in our lives so that we constantly sit on the edge of our seats, aware of every opportunity and ready to move in a positive direction when the opportunity arises. Thank you so much for watching. Have a beautiful Shabbat. Good Shabbos. Good Shabbos.